I'm Peter Riley. I'm the author of the Cambridge Checkpoint Science Series, published by Hodder. The series comprises three student books, three teacher's resource books, three workbooks and a revision guide to help students aim for the highest grades in their future science examinations. In addition, I have also written over 250 science books for teachers, students and children in a career spanning almost 40 years. I began teaching in a large rural comprehensive school in Yorkshire in England. When I arrived, the school had just got a brand new suite of laboratories and I was put in charge of looking after two of them, setting them up and running them for three years that I was there. I moved to a grammar school in Lancashire and this merged with the neighbouring girls high school to form one of the largest new comprehensive schools in the area and I became head of science there and we had 10 laboratories, 9 full-time science teachers, up to 5 part-time science teachers and 4 laboratory technicians and I stayed in that post for 17 years until I became a full-time science author in 1996. When the two schools merged, in years 8 to 11 we had the grammar school and the high school students, but in year 7 we had students with a wider range of ability, and I began to write worksheets for those students when they were studying biology, and as they moved into years 8 and 9 I continued to write worksheets for them. A visiting publisher saw my worksheets and encouraged me to write a biology book, and that biology book became life science and it was my first book. The new comprehensive school inherited 60 microscopes from the two previous schools, the grammar school and the girls high school. So we did a lot of microscope work and in life science I devoted a chapter to the microscope and how it was used. Another company saw this work and asked me to devise a microscope set and to write a book of experiments and this became Microworld Microscope Set. Following the success of Microworld, another publisher asked me to write a book about microscopes and its application across the sciences, from veterinary and medical studies to forensic science and metallurgy. They then asked me to write a seven book series showing how biology, chemistry and physics can be linked together. And this series became known as Signpost to Science. After Signpost to Science, I went on to write many other books. My writing did help my teaching because in 1988 the national curriculum in the United Kingdom was launched and this caused lots of changes to the way that 11 to 14 year old students were taught. In our school we responded by writing our own course where biology, chemistry and physics was more integrated. This meant that the science teachers had also got to learn about biology, chemistry and physics and not just their own specialism. As I'd also written quite a few books by now on biology, chemistry and physics, I was able to bring that into my own teaching and to help my colleagues in the way that they addressed the course. When I became a full-time author, my first project was to write a series of science books supported by three teachers' resource books for 11 to 14 year olds who were aiming for the highest grades in the science examinations, which I wrote based on my experience of running a large department for many years. These books are published as Biology Now, Chemistry Now and Physics Now by John Murray. In the year 2000, the Physics Now student book won the School Book Award for Science, Secondary, which is awarded by the Times Educational Supplement and the Education Publishers Council. They went on to be taken up by schools not just in the United Kingdom, but around the world. Following the international success of the NOW series, I was asked to write a series specifically for students taking the Cambridge Secondary 1 Checkpoint Test in Science. 
I was encouraged to keep the award-winning format of the Now books and adapted them to meet the demands of the Cambridge Secondary One Science Curriculum Framework.